Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at one of the three free Chrome boxes I recently got my hands on. In my last video, I showed you how I reset one of these, removed the Chrome OS, and installed Bodicera, and I turned it into a nice little retro gaming machine. This time, I'm going to take things a step further by upgrading the RAM and SSD, and then installing a Linux operating system on it. Now, with so many Linux distros out there, it can be tough to choose, but today, uh, I think I'm going to go with Zorin OS. I've tried Linux Mint, and uh, I think I've tried Pop OS and Ubuntu before, but I've never tried Zorin OS, so I'm going to try that today. And if you're curious about how I reset the Chrome box in the first place, be sure to check out my previous video where I walk you through the entire process. Now let's talk about the specs. These Chrome boxes usually come with just two gigs of RAM and a very teeny tiny 16 gigabyte SSD. Uh, not exactly ideal. So for this unit, I had previously bumped the RAM up to four gigs, but today I'm gonna to do some serious upgrades. So I have two eight gig sticks to bring the total to 16 gigs of RAM, plus a 256 gig NVMe drive. Uh, this setup should be perfect for a smooth and functional Linux experience. All right, to swap out the hard drive, I am going to have to remove the Wi-Fi card here. So it's just one screw, very easy to do. Now, if you tried this, just be careful. You don't want to pull the wires off. So I'm just going to flip this over to the side. So now I can get to the SSD. And just like the uh, Wi-Fi card, you just have to remove one screw to get the SSD off. And there we go, just remove this gently. Kind of crazy that this was only shipped with a 16 gig hard drive. But I am now gonna replace this with a 256 gig SSD. There we go, already put it in there. So that's good to go. All I have to do now is just put the Wi-Fi card chip back in and then I will replace the RAM. All right, like I said, this originally came with two gigs of RAM. I added another two gig stick, so it has right now a total of four gigs, but I want a lot more than that. So I have two eight gig sticks here, and that'll give me a total of 16 gigs of RAM. And I also want to mention the processor in here. It's a very old Celeron processor, the 3215U. It's only two cores and two threads. All right, so the Chrome box is now ready to go. All I have to do is download the Zorin OS ISO file to this USB flash drive, and I'm gonna to need to do that on a separate PC. All right, so here I am on my Windows PC. I'm on the Zorin OS website, and I'm gonna download the free version of Zorin. There is a paid version as well, but most people should be fine with the free version. So if I hit download here, right away you see the pro is the top one, but if you scroll down, you'll find the free version here. And after it's downloaded, I'm gonna use Belena Etcher to flash the ISO file to my USB drive. All right, when that is done, I'm gonna insert the USB drive into my Chrome box and power on the Chrome box and hit the escape key until I get to the boot menu here. All right, so here I'm gonna uh, select boot menu. 
And then from here, I'm going to select a boot device, which is going to be my USB stick. So I'm going to click this right here. And now I'm going to do try or install Zorin OS. And this part, I'm just going to fast forward a little here. All right, so now here we have two options, try Zorin or install Zorin. Uh, if you want to just try it and take it for a spin, you could just hit try and it won't install it on your computer. I'm going to hit install Zorin because I just want to completely install it on the Chrome box. And here it's going to ask if you want to download any updates. And here I'm just going to click these boxes or keep them checked and just hit uh, continue. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to fast forward the uh, initial setup steps here. It's pretty straightforward. And it now looks like I have successfully installed Zorin onto this Chrome box, which is awesome. All right, now I'm going to take Zorin around for a little spin, you know, try to play some YouTube videos, browse the web. But first thing I'm going to do is go to settings and change the background here, and, you know, to a different picture. See if I can find one I like. Yeah, I'm going to choose this one. And if you want to install something different, there is a little um, shop or software section here that you can install different apps or programs, you know, whatever you want. Here's VLC. I'll just download this and install this. All right, now let's try browsing the web. It does come pre-installed with Firefox, so we'll just use that. And let's see how it does loading in a website that has a lot of stuff going on. We'll try the New York Mets. And it is taking a while for everything to load up. But again, there's just a lot going on with this website. So it took a little longer than I'd like. But uh, let's try a different website now. Uh, let's try, let's go to cnet.com. And that definitely loaded in a little bit quicker than the Mets website. All right, now let's head over to YouTube and try to watch some videos. In today's video, I'm going to take a look at probably the cheapest tablet you can purchase brand new right now. This is the 5 Below tablet. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is a tablet. Alright, YouTube seems to be working very well. Uh, I turned on this video because I want to see if I wanted to uh, get any dropped frames. So I put on stats for nerds. And so far so good. It's, uh, it works really well. And of course, if you wanted to create any uh, Word documents, Zorin OS have you covered with LibreOffice. Uh, very easy to use. So I'm just going to create a, uh, a blank document here. 
And yeah, this is perfect for, you know, simple tasks like simple work or Word documents, that is, um, email, you know, YouTube watching. This is going to, you know, so far, very happy with Zorin OS. All right, now I thought it would be interesting if I could try out some cloud gaming on Zorin OS to see if it would work. Here's the Xbox cloud gaming. Uh, I'm going to try some Fortnite and see if I can get it to work. Let's see. All right, guys, so I was able to um, get into Fortnite. I'm moving around the menu, no problem. Now, I had an issue, though, because I couldn't start a game up. So when you go to start a game, you know, you have to click the Y button on your controller. And as you see here, it says you hit Y to play. Um, I hit the Y button and it was completely, you know, didn't work. Nothing was responding. So um, I tried to use, um, you know, hit the enter button, use keyboard and mouse to start the game up. But nothing, it just does not work. Um, so that's a big bummer because... You know, I'm able to scroll around the top menu, so it's a little strange that I couldn't get it to work. If you know the solution to this, please let me know in the comments below. Also tried it with Forza Horizon 5, and again, just couldn't get it to completely work. And the issue with Forza Horizon 5 is, as you can see, I can change my views, but when I try to accelerate, uh, that button would not work. Um, so that's, you know, again, a bit of a bummer. But now I'm going to try some emulation to see if I can get some emulation working on this. All right, so I found out that this actually has RetroArch in the software section. So I'm going to go ahead and download and install this. All right, so I was able to play some Sega Genesis games. Here's Disney's Aladdin, one of my favorites. And yeah, it worked perfectly. So, you know, kind of cool that you could do some emulation on this as well. Okay, so getting Linux to work on this old Chromebox was definitely a success. Uh, very happy with the results. So far, Zorin seems to be very easy to use. Uh, very cool that this old Chromebox can now be repurposed and given an extra life thanks to Linux. Uh, if anyone has used a Chromebox as a little file server or a NAS, let me know in the comments below. Kind of curious about that and was thinking about trying to do that as well. But that's going to do it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it and thanks for watching.